All right, today I'm on a 24 foot kayak. Nick, who makes this kayak? Uh, Maycraft. I'm on a 24 foot Maycraft kayak. We started about 15 miles just now. Started some jigging, doing some meat fishing on the bottom, fishing wrecks and natural bottom. It's gonna be some different stuff, rigs and jigs and what's gonna work, what's not gonna work. So uh, let's see. So some life on the bottom. We're waiting for it to get a little nicer out. So let's see who's down here. Decent. Sea bass needs to be 13 inches to keep here. Let's we'll see what we got here. My line. Oh, -ho. look at that thing there. Ooh -hoo. That is a large white grunt. Using these little metal jigs. All right. First spot we caught some grunts now we're on a public artificial reef so here i'm going to drop some chunks of meat Let's see what's down here it's a little too crazy of a structure for for jigs i'm gonna get sharked real quick here well we'll find out i'm optimistic No shark. No, I don't think so. Maybe. I don't feel like a shark though. But we'll find out. Put meat on, so I'm gonna be in for it. Yeah, just take your time. Get whatever you want ready. I don't think that's a shark though. It's moving too fast to be a shark. Shark? Can't tell. No, oh, red, wow. Get the net. Damn. That's a crazy catch for offshore. I don't know if you could lip them, but I could probably help you out there. There you go. Woo. Nice one. Sorry, Mr. Drum. Had no intent of catching that offshore, but man. <laughs> That's a nice one. All right, man. That's a beautiful red drum. It's probably about a 40 inch or so. He had a chunk of Spanish mackerel, so hopefully he's gonna go right back down. All right, that's a fish. I did not expect to catch out offshore, um, but it does happen. It's not too rare. Whip them quick. All right, let's re-rig. See, the main culprit out here is you really start working an area. I caught that redfish pretty quickly, that red drum, and then these guys move in. You could chunk them up, etc. but certain areas, the war of attrition just doesn't work out. So uh, we're gonna make a little move now. I'm gonna head to like 20 miles and uh, look on some rocky bottom. Uh, this is probably gonna be more panfish, sea bass, and grunts. So that first spot where I was working those jigs, we had a couple bigger grunts. Here we came out to a wreck, um, just some small sea bass and that big red. But a little bit further now we go and you know maybe we'll see what, what else we can do. Looks good though. Alright, I'm gonna start with this metal jig again. Oh, water, water definitely hit that blue color. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. That's some good. AJ, I've hooked a handful of these before. And that's that. I think that's an AJ. I'm starting to hit. Oh, I lost him. Yep. 
think that was an AJ. He broke me off. Had that hit before. And I've never won on the light tackle, so. better lock this guy. Yeah, I put him back there. See him? Got him. Oh. Huh? That's cool. Oh, this is rough. This is rough, fellas. It's probably like a 20 pounder and I'm like struggling. Oh, it's a 4,000, but it's an 80 pound braid and a 60 pound leader. So maybe 80 pound leader, sorry. Whew. There we go. I think we got it. Oh, we're not gonna lose this one to structure like the first one at least. We just changed the, the game here. Just that one hit. That's an AJ, huh? Uh, I think they gotta be 28 inches to keep. I really don't want any. Do you want one? Whew, we're on a red drum and AJ. It's an interesting combination for the day. Man, that fish hits hard. That's a crazy fight there. Huh. Yeah, he hit mid-water column. There's definitely some structure in the area. Because that first one, he got me on structure and popped me off. Missed one. Just missed something, rather. I don't know what that was. There we go. I can get another one there. Nope, something different. Not sure what this is. Swimming very different. King mackerel. I think so. Yeah. Uh, he's probably a keeper. I could, I could swing them if you want me to. I don't know if it's gonna work, but here goes. All right, guys, that fish is a king mackerel. Also took the metal jig. He hit it on the drop. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be like 27. But just lay it, no, lay it down flat so I can lay the fish over. Yeah, he's over 24. The old snake king. All right. So it felt a little rockier, but unless I'm bumping some fish down there. There we go. Yeah, I had a harder time doing that too. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a trigger fish on a metal jig. Sick. It's better. It's gotta be 12, right? Is it a grouper? Yeah. Damn, on a blade bait. Grouper, right? Toby. Wow, on, on that Yozuri vibe, huh? Yeah. Put that the way. Yeah. <laughs> that's a Kobe, fellas. Yeah, that's what that Kobe ate in this little Yozuri vibe. 60 to 80 feet down. Big king here. This one might be worth a gaff, actually. Huh? Get him 
<laughs> yeah, this one's actually a real, maybe it's an Albi though. Uh, King mackerel, hamberjack, uh, red drum, full salvacore. Good slam. Good slam. Huh? Checking all the boxes. Checking all that and grunt. <laughs> Who could forget grunt? A one vermilion. All right, that fish is a false albacore. Not quite the edible you want anymore for bait. It's a fun little mixed bag though. Light tackle jigs. You know, just when the AJ comes around, you stand no chance. Is my my final verdict. Bottom bite's not great. You know, a couple of grunts, but you know, playing with a silly fish. You saw king mackerel, amberjacks. Spanish mackerel, they got a big Spanish. Uh, cobia, false albacore, so all that stuff's pretty active. Like Jig and King Mackerel. Yeah, King. Kings are pretty up high versus the, uh, I think the Albies and the other ones are down low more. And the AJs. Yeah, I think that's a Spanish, right? Look at that black. Yeah. Beautiful Spanish mackerel, guys. Wow. Look at that Spanish, man. Wow, what a nice one. Go for the swing. Hang on. Damn, look at that Spanish mackerel. More impressed with that. Sweet. Spanish mackerel there. Sweet one. There we go. Something. I think that I'll be. Oh, false Albi. My guess what I got here. Small king for me too, and Cobia. I got a Cobia following. Let's see, hang on, let's see if it comes back up. Got a Cobia. Hang on. Let's see if he, he went down underneath the boat though. He was following it though. All right. Followed up my king here. Yeah, if he's gone, he's gone. Let's hit that one with the AJs quick. Get out of here. Enough king mackerel jigging action. That's a keeper. And myself, well, I'll put a link in the video description, everything we use. Here's all just the random metal jigs I have. It seemed like the 40 grams, which is like two ounces, had the most hits from the kings. We're out here in 85 feet of water or so. Um, you know, 60 grams work too. I didn't use too many funny shapes, but uh you know next time um, i guess i'll learn that uh probably come with the heavier tackle first for the amberjacks so maybe i could have landed a couple more of those but uh not bad decent little mixed bag that was the first time really fishing metal jigs here um off the beach i'm sure the further out you go the better it gets but uh 20 miles metal jig just cranking them along structure was it's a lot of fun offshore is a novelty for me it's not a it's not something you get to do much so not bad for december right Take it.